off we go. Oh heavens. They removed oh no, there used to be a place we could walk right across that. Now I'm gonna get wet. Oh well. For the cause. Well, the good thing is, is even though that was very simple and easy, there are a lot of people who won't do that, so. Look at there. All right, so not only do we get to fish today. Oh, it smells so fantastic out here. We get to have a nice little trail walk. Now, I have done this trail many times, and I've even filmed it a few times, but it has been a while. So I, I think, could be wrong, but I think the last time I actually filmed out here was when <clears throat> Michael and Jalinda were with me and I believe they had their dog. And this was before Beckett. And we came out here and uh, Michael, Michael and I climbed a pretty good sized hill. I'm not sure. Whoop. Well, that, that's gonna be kind of blocked. Let's go this way and see if we... I'm not sure if I can find that footage. But if I can find that footage, I will... Uh, consider if I can if I think about it at the time because I say I'll do it or I'll try to do it but very rarely do I do okay let's go over here here's a trail let's just go see I'm just looking for a spot to go fishing that doesn't have anybody in it and that is fishable okay well Hey, I just found a couple bobbers. Let's see if they're good. This is very shallow. I'm not gonna be able to not gonna be able to fish here. Alright, let me check these bobbers out real quick. Oh, there's three of them sitting there. Alright, back out on the main trail. I checked out those bobbers. They're uh, they're jacked up, but they're usable. But I just decided I wasn't gonna clutter up and gather them so we'll continue on oh somebody's down there hey Keith did you hear that it's a hairless deer out there screaming for help it's a dying deer Again, yeah, there's a small trail, but I'm not even going to pester with that one. I'm going to continue on. Mmm, it smells fantastic out here. That's pretty cool. Now this would be a, a really decent place to do some uh, overnight camping. Uh, <clears throat> if you get far enough back, 
there aren't any people that roam around. Let's just check this trail out here real quick and just take a gander. Again, uh, maybe shallow. Oh, something's jumping around. And it's kind of shallow right here. I'm pretty close to where I want to go. Oh, there's a bunch of families out there and in, in boats. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm pretty close to where I wanted to look in the first place. So this side is all wooded. Across the across the Missinawa over there is a bunch of houses. So well let's continue down just a little bit further. Hmm, let's take the less traveled trail for a moment just to see if no, nope, it's going to lead us right. Okay, well, we'll take this trail. Uh, yeah, not really a trail. <laughs> there we go. Woodpecker. I didn't see it, but I could hear it. So we're really close now to where I wanted to go. And again, there are several people over here. Oh, there's people there. Oh, they got some kind of wagon I've got. Anyway, uh, I have found homeless camps back here, this close. People live, oh, look. Ho, 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 ho. Nice. That's really hard. Yeah. There we go. Not edible anymore. At least not for us. <clears throat> All right, really close. I'll get back with you in a moment. Okay, well, didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Here's that hill, or part of the hill, that, uh, Michael and I ran up. I'll try to I'll try to find that and link it. We'll see how good that works. I don't know. Anyway, this is the hill that Michael and I ran up. Let's come over here. <clears throat> see if we can't find a spot. Very shallow, man, that sucks. Well, I'm thinking that I drove over 30 miles for no reason whatsoever. But we'll see. I'm gonna get a worm in the water regardless. 
yeah it's not gonna matter eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna find a spot and stop and fish regardless all right so there's a couple people just leaving this spot here uh, there's a woman with a couple kids I chatted with them a little bit she said there's some fish out here they've been jumping they, they got a hold of a catfish but it got off the line and catfish is really what I'm looking for so I am going to fish right here this is gonna be my spot All right, here we go. All righty, well, I went ahead and taken the bob the bobber off because yeah. Anyway, it's the best thing to do. We're going to heave this thing out there the best we can. Just let it sit. Alright, it's just going to sit there. And uh, I'm just going to relax. I think today is just going to be mainly about just relaxing and not really doing much. <laughs> so there's a bunch of carp out there jumping and splashing. Uh, I've always been told, and, and, and it seems accurate, that if the fish are jumping, they're not biting. There's another one, I don't know if you heard it. Maybe maybe a catfish or maybe even a carp will swim along and find that worm and decide it wants it. There's a school of carp right there. No, those are catfish, holy fuck. Those are catfish. Those are big catfish. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'm gonna try to toss right into those catfish. If you can see those, but they are massive. I'm throwing this thing right in the middle of those. And not one of them is interested. They don't seem interested in the least bit. it's at now it's floating right through that school and they are not in the slightest bit interested in taking that worm <clears throat> they just 
just moving right out of the way. Yeah, they just moved right out of the way. They're swimming right around it. 